Hello everyone and welcome to The Garage. It's Chris Steinke here. We got a lot of positive feedback on The Garage, so uh, here we are again. Uh, note, I'm always here in The Garage, but sometimes you can't tell. Same difference for me, but a nice experience for other people. Oh, we have the power tool of the day. Uh, the power tool of the day is the six inch uh, brushless, brushless chainsaw. If you don't have one of these, you'll think I don't need one. But let me tell you, as soon as you get one, you are gonna find a reason for it. But we're not here to talk about brushless chainsaws. We are here to talk about the virtual agent and do not sleep on the virtual agent this year. It is a new and much greatly improved experience. I'm, I'm logged in and I'm under the, 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 the role of Jamie Parker. Jamie Parker is someone new to a team that uh, handles an ERP application. That ERP application is called CoreSync. She hasn't used it much before. Uh, and now that she's trying to use it, she's running into issues. She has questions, right? And what would normally she would do? She would maybe reach out to one of her teammates or she would maybe bug her manager about it and, and sort of fill up their time. Or she would go to the knowledge base where she would be presenting with a bunch of different knowledge articles. She would have to read through each of those and try to figure out what's going on. But let's look now at what her new updated experience will be within the virtual agent. So over here, now I am on the employee center portal. Uh, this is an unmodified portal. I like to do this just to show that this is this is raw, this is real. Very little configuration done here. I haven't even updated the branding. Uh, and, and what you're gonna see, I think, is gonna be very impressive. So right now when I open it up, you can see that it then uh, wants to talk. Hi, Daniel, how can it help me? Okay, maybe I started as Jamie, now I'm Daniel. Uh, you know, it's neither here nor there. Anyway, with Daniel, he's in, fortunately, the same role as Jamie, and he's got questions. So he's gonna, he doesn't know what he wants though, right? Our old virtual agent was really good if you knew what you wanted, we could match you to an intent, you could be off to the races. Where it didn't work as well was general situations where people didn't know what they needed or people didn't know what they wanted to ask. So let's come in here and see how it happens now. Can you help me troubleshoot a CoreSync uh, ERP issue? CoreSync ERP is the name of the ERP application within the knowledge base articles. Um, and you'll see later on what is powering this entire experience and hopefully you'll be surprised. So uh, you can see what it's done here is it's gone through based on the information. You might be encountering this sort of issue or maybe you're running into this sort of issue or maybe it's this sort of issue. So what's happened here and this is fantastic. It's not just trying to match you to one KB article. It's going to go and it's going to do a relevancy search uh, based on sort of the traditional keyword search. At the same time, it's going to do a semantic search. So it's going to search based on the word meanings, right? So you're getting both flavors of it. It finds relevant results. It merges those two data sets and then it creates snippets. It finds where it thinks the answer is within those knowledge articles, takes the full text or 750 characters of that knowledge article, sends it over to the LLM, but not just one knowledge article. It's going to do that for uh, uh, up to five different knowledge articles. Again, sending all those snippets to the LLM and saying, hey, can you solve this for me? When it comes back, it synthesizes those answers. So we get this sort of a response where it's not just sort of walking me down one path. It's saying, well, hey, maybe you're experiencing this or maybe you're experiencing that or maybe it's a uh, an error message during budget consolidation. And you'll notice each of these numbers here are actually references to the article. I can click down and get to that specific article. Uh, if I want to. So now let's see, uh, maybe I'm kind of curious. I can just say, you know, what uh, kind of core sync issues can you help solve? Again, sending it to the LL, uh, sending it first, it's doing a search, finding all the relevant knowledge articles, sending it all over to the LLM. Now the LLM is gonna, gonna summarize those and synthesize a response for us. So here's some different examples of errors that it can help me with. All right, so uh, let's see. What about uh, what about a no data returned error? Now, another important thing, if you just noticed there, I didn't say CoreSync ERP. I didn't say CoreSync. I didn't say ERP. I just referred to it in, a, in, in shorthand because now the virtual agent has context. 
it remembers what you had said the previous uh, in that previous sentence. So I don't have to restate that we're talking about core sync every time. It knows we're kind of headed down that path of the conversation. So now it has context. And you can do some really fun things uh, with, with context in it. Um, here we can say, maybe I can say something like, uh, what does that article say? And again, knows the article we're discussing, it knows the information, it's just gonna go back there and it is going to synthesize that information, bring it back, and then it's gonna spit it out to me. Fantastic, so easy, uh, so simple. Uh, how about if I do uh, what other, because uh, this is an error message, right? So what other error, uh, what other error messages do you know? And you can do misspellings. I know I always fat finger things. I'm really a classic for it. But uh, in this case, you can. It's going to understand a lot of cases if you misspell or have a typo. Doesn't care. The LLM is still able to process it and, and does fantastic. So here you can say examples of the different error messages that I might get. And then, I, oh, I see there is a, um, maybe I'm getting some other kind of error, something I didn't even see. Maybe it's an IDOC error or something. So I'm going to put in, uh, what uh, sort of uh, error is an IDOC failure? Again, putting it in, not fully qualifying it. It's not doing a full search. Uh, it, it searches, but it understands the context of the previous conversation. So much more conversational experience uh, and, and much more friendly, much more easier to interact with. So here, another example, it's one of the causes of a budget exceeded error that I can say, how do I fix that? And I could say, how do you, can, can you help me? How do I fix that? Give me the steps to fix it. What should I do? You can ask it in any of these conversational ways and it will understand. So can not populate, oh, okay, so that's how I fix that particular issue. Uh, maybe there's another issue. What are the steps to, fix a uh, budget uh, consolidation issue. Right? All the information is in there. It's in the individual knowledge articles. It gets processed by the LLM. The LLM synthesizes these answers and it provides this massively improved conversational experience. And here you can see this. Now watch this, it gets even crazier, right? Write those instructions in Spanish. Again, we're interacting with the LLM. It's a little bit different than what people have experienced before with the virtual agent, because rather than just getting matched to individual topics and sort of having the topics execute, the LLM is there. The LLM is involved, the LLM, and the LLM can translate our own instructions into Spanish for us. Uh, you know, and last but not least, uh, if, I, if I can't find the information, I can say, what is the core sync uh, help desk contact info? And I like this one. I always like closing on this one because I think uh, I think this is the one of the more interesting cases and situations because I haven't made a knowledge article that contains any of this information that contains specifically the information for the help desk. Rather, what happens is within each of the knowledge articles at the very bottom of it, it says, hey, if you need any help, contact the uh, help desk. And as a result, we're able to extract this information and provide it as an answer to a question. So we can answer questions about your knowledge base that, that you hadn't even anticipated answering from that particular article. Uh, again, really powerful feature, very different experience. Now we have the LLM that's involved, that's helping us to synthesize these responses. You don't have to make as many topics. All of what you've been looking at here, all of this conversation, everything was driven off of these five KB articles. That's it. I didn't make any topics. I didn't customize anything. Uh, all it's doing is it's reading these knowledge articles and providing answers through the synthesized out of the box responses. So uh, really amazing feature. Again, don't sleep on the Now Assistant virtual agent. Tremendous amount of value uh, bringing this to the bear, uh, letting your users take advantage of it and, and turning that virtual agent from, a, again, sort of a, a passive kind of help bot and maybe trying to find your resources to something that can really actively help fix things and help restore people to service and, and truly 
help you with deflection. So uh, this has been Chris Steinke again with ServiceNow. Hopefully you enjoyed this session talking about Now Assist in the Virtual Agent. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out. And uh, if you have other things that you'd like to see in the Now Assist uh, agentic AI space, uh, please go ahead and post and let me know. Otherwise, have a great day. Thank you.